Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Epic Speed Driver from Callaway. Hello, I'm Anna Whiteley and welcome to Golf Central on YouTube. Well, breaking news this afternoon as Tiger Woods took to social media to announce that he's undergone a microdisectomy procedure to his back. Now, as we know, this is not the first time that we have made his announcement here. The microdisectomy surgeries go back to March of 2014 to alleviate that pinched nerve. They then continued to in September 2015 to remove a disc fragment. Then the following month in October, he had further surgery to relieve the discomfort from that septum. September procedure and of course a few years later back in April 2017 Tiger underwent that spinal fusion surgery so earlier today Jaime Diaz and myself caught up with our Golf Channel colleague and close friend to Tiger Woods for over 30 years Nota Begay. From what you know from Tiger from having spoken to him what was the deciding factor in going ahead with this surgery recently? Well, I think he had some concerns over seeing his club head speed start to creep um, sort of below 115. I uh, had a chance to visit with him and catch up over at the PNC Championship when it was great to watch him and Charlie out there working together. But uh, one of the things he did bring up was that he uh, noticed his club head speed was creeping down around 113. And I've, I mean, known this guy since, you know, he was nine years old and uh, he might have been over 113 when he was nine back then I, I don't think it's ever crept this low so this is just this is typical tiger woods you know he's going to do anything and everything he can to get as close to pushing that edge for himself as possible and this is just another way to alleviate pain i talked to him um just recently within within the last hour and he just mentioned that uh, there was radiating pain that back down the, the par back part of his leg. Anybody that's ever had disc problems like myself can can realize and understand that that's just a, a very uncomfortable place to be. And any way you can alleviate the pain in this particular case through a procedure is the way to go, especially if you want to try and pursue elite level performance. Nota, you were observing him all year and certainly at the end there at the Masters and the PNC. Did you notice that his body was not necessarily, you know, perfectly, you know, uh, in, in, in tune. And was he moving stiffly to you? Did you, did you see some warning signs? I didn't see any warning signs. I tell you why, because I, I watched him play every single hole in that second round um, at the masters. Uh, there was no spectators. I got done with my show early. I was like, when am I ever going to get a chance to go watch Tiger Woods play Augusta national with no patrons out there? Um, so I went out and watched, and there were, really wasn't any warning signs, Jaime, I mean, the, with the exception of just his body was moving very slow. If you look at the differences between maybe a swing a, a year, maybe 15 months ago, to one maybe in the last three or four months, just everything, it's still moving in sync, and he can still hit the shots, but it's just a little bit slower. Um, and that that is totally indicative of, of a little bit of discomfort and your body just doesn't allow you to do the things that you want them to do. You know, physically, Nota, it sounds like doctors are hoping that there will be a full recovery, you know, and fingers crossed we will see Tiger back at the Masters in April. But from what you've heard from him, how is he feeling sort of mentally? I imagine these surgeries are pretty mentally draining, you know, going back to the beginning and working yourself up physically to get yourself in that right mental state to be competing at the highest level. Um, psychologically, where's, where is he at with all of that? Uh, he's fine. I mean, I, I literally 15 minutes ago exchanged text with him uh, and he was hitting golf balls. I mean, so uh, it's not like this is, you know, he's laying in the bed, you know, watching reruns of Friends. He's gotten the pain um, alleviated. I promise you he wasn't, you know, trying to rip the drivers out there, but um, this is a, a he's going to let it come back. He's going to let it heal. And we all know that, you know, he's got the event in April circled, but now, now comes the, the Tiger Wood sweepstakes. When, you know, when is he going to show up? I mean, is it going to be, you know, at the, the WGC Mexico championship, which is now moved to the concession, which is right up the road. Is it going to be at the players? Is it going to be at Arnold Palmer? I, I do think he needs two starts. To be competitive at Augusta, I don't think one is going to be enough. And we saw just a little bit of rust um, at this past Masters uh, at the end of the year, uh, just because I don't think he had enough reps.
Nota, assuming his swing speed, it'll go up slightly, let's hope, uh, from 113, but probably not dramatically. In your opinion, going forward, what type of golf does he have to play? What adjustments to his game do you feel he'll be thinking about making to still stay competitive, make, you know, an adjustment away from power golf, perhaps, and be more of the artist? Uh, what, what's your feeling? Well, I think you're going to, if, if the winning recipe for Tiger Woods is going to be reflective of what we saw at the Zozo Championship, where he really dominates with the putter and is just very sound tactically, strategically, playing percentages, hitting more fairways, hitting a lot of greens, and, and really taking the stress, num number one, off, off, of, off of himself mentally, but also off of his body. Those spectacular recovery shots that we've seen through the years um, they, they take a toll on the body. I mean, there's a lot of torque, a lot of stress, and um, I think he's just going to have to play a little bit more of a consistent type of tee to green game and then just wait for when the putter starts to warm up like we know it can. Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Epic Speed Driver from Callaway.